Father Tom Uzun Alil is now free after 18 months of abduction in Yemen. 66 pounds lighter and with his mind psychologically pushed to the limit, the Celestian missionary burst into tears as he remembered the four missionaries of charity and 12 elders killed during his abduction. After God, of course, before thanking the Lord, is I see the missionaries of charity. Okay. My condolences uh, to them all. The priest says that his abductors did not mistreat him, and he could not find out to which terrorist group they belonged, or if they belonged to one. He says that he spent his days praying, thanking God for every new day of life he gave him. I thank God for that day. Yesterday is gone, tomorrow is not sure. Give me grace to live this day well. So that sometimes is so under. Uh, before going to sleep or when night comes and uh, able to sleep, I thank the Lord. Morning come, thank you for this day. And so no other worry was in me. After his release, the missionary was transferred to Rome. In the Eternal City, he was able to participate in a meeting that he will never forget, one with the Pope. Well, I have not personally come to the Holy Father, Pope Francis, uh, any time before. Pope is the vicar of Christ. El vicario de Cristo. And uh, I, I think in that meeting, Pope kissed my hand. I never deserve it. Indeed. I am only grateful to God for his blessings. Uh, I'm sure he would have prayed or spent uh, time much for me. Father Tom will stay in the Vatican to receive the medical care he needs. As soon as he recovers, he will return to India to serve the people there.